All right, we gotta find a fuse. We gotta find a fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, man. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay, we're gonna look for the fuse box. I thought I just saw some information. It said examine. That's all it said was examine. And where would the fuse box be outside? Barry, move. Barry, move out of the way. Wouldn't the fuse box be in the back? That's the bathroom. Is the fuse box out? No, that's the front door. Is the fuse box out back? You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to find it. Obviously, it's just more rooms. Oh, it's back here. All right, we want to listen to the music. Hear that, Al? Turn Is that it? off. Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got two uh, manuscripts. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Ah! The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. What? How the, how the heck do we... Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. <gasps> right! Must be! Yes, because Cynthia... Okay, so Cynthia was friends with Thomas Zane and um Barbara. She was friends with them. Okay. Oh, the record that I was messing with? Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? find her right and even though you're a crazy bastard i'm gonna stick by you no matter what ever al sure like a brother i'm a writer god damn it correct if i just wanted to i could write 10 books a year and and they'd be the best books that year no you couldn't that's right i couldn't but i could because i'm a writer what what do they put in this stuff I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. 
We're gonna make it okay. So the, the water from Cauldron Lake, which is being unfiltrated. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Alice? I remember Alice. being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Come on, go upstairs! I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Oh my god. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. Freak it, I missed it. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Oh, I got out! <coughs> Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What the heck? Because I remember jumping in. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Wait. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice! in Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. That's how it happened. She tricked us. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. 
Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What in the world?